Thinking back to the beginning, when I started rehearsing for Nutcracker, we started snow rehearsals, and that was like the first opportunity I really had to showcase everything that I learned at the school. And it's such a technical piece, you know, and it's really fast footwork and it's quick and it's light. And I felt like, oh wow, this is the challenge to show off everything that I've been working on in class and really like show it to the world. The snow is like a fun added challenge. It looks so beautiful and it looks real. If you breathe in heavy, it can get in your throat. I've even gotten one in my eye and like the eyelashes catch a lot of the snowflakes but like I learned not to wear lip gloss because it'll even stick to your lips. But it's really cool to have something like that falling while you're dancing because you never experience that elsewhere. So I think, you know, growing up watching the Nutcracker and seeing the video of it, you know, and watching that every year you're just, you wonder what it's gonna be like and then to actually step into it. Those, that first part where the music starts and everything, it's pure magic. You know, you have to warm up. It's a, uh, you, you get shot out of a cannon when you start snow. So when I was there, we started kind of doing this thing in the buildup of the music and there are these three crashes that, that happen. We would just take our pom-poms because we were ready with our pom-poms and in our costume and everything and we're warming up and doing prances and everything and we would do like a big plie in second and crash the pom-poms together like as if we were whatever the instrument is that makes that big sound. It was just this like fun routine that we all did together and however many people wanted to involve themselves we would just make the circle bigger and bigger. Anytime I learned George Balanchine's choreography it makes so much sense. Like he really portrayed the music and it's almost not so difficult to learn the choreography because it does match so well with the music. Like what you hear, you feel in your body, oh, that's what's next. Like you're representing the music so well. But to be snowflakes in a flurry, in a blizzard kind of, moving across the stage, and the way he portrayed that is so pure. It's the most incredible choreography to to make this picture of like how snowflakes are falling and how they would whoosh in the, in the wind in a storm and at night, you know, it's really special. Do we want to say anything else? I don't know. I think we're good. <laughs>